So if you don't know what's going on, basically me and this woman have connected telepathically due to the government trying to kill me and um, uh, tinnitus ringing in my ears and um, something to do with the distress signal that has to do with invading tribes because I used to hang out in that area. And then her, her situation was sex trafficking. Here's the problem. So now actually we communicate uh, via uh, via the ringing in my ears, and we can a we can actually talk to each other and stuff. Well, the problem is is that <clears throat> the problem is is that I've got her out of that hotel where that fifty year old dude was just she was just stuck in a hotel with some fifty year old fucking dude. <laughs> And so I finally fought her out of that situation, and, and now they've placed dudes into her life. Most of these dudes look like, I don't want to go into it, but they just look like pathetic um, social, climber, so, social climber types who are looking for a way to become famous. I don't know, understand exactly how it all works, but... Uh, it doesn't actually fucking matter. I know that they do weird shit to her even now, and it's just a lot of back and forth. And so I know more about what's going on than she does, and, and this woman, and I guess I don't really blame her in a lot of ways because she has been stuck in that hotel with a 50-year-old dude, and then he's just, like, screaming at her and making her have sex with black dudes. So... I don't know how I feel about all of it, but the problem is, is that I see that it's fake and she is, whatever she's doing, she's always in my head saying, the relationship isn't like that. The relationship isn't like, it's like, it's like this little thing for her to have power. You know what I'm saying? Like it's this woman, it's this 25 year old girl who really doesn't, probably doesn't really even understand what's going on as well as I do. And this happened to me one time with, with a girl I was dating who was a calendar model. And she ended up leaving me for this actor who was on television. And then and then she was with him for a while and then she and then she wanted me to come back and I just tried to ignore her and she just she just you know kept nagging me and then the problem is is that women don't really have any business to even figuring out what the fuck they're supposed to be doing in life. You know what I mean? I mean, to a large extent, especially once once they're attractive like that, then I imagine probably most of these dudes probably wouldn't have even been in her fucking life anyways if had not been for my being interested. <laughs> but either way, the point of the story is that when you have attractive women like that, then dudes are always throwing themselves at them. Women aren't like... I don't know. I mean, women have their own special abilities and stuff like that, uh, maybe better at men in certain things, but generally speaking, when it comes to just, like, keeping up with the details of day-to-day -day life, they don't really know what the fuck is going on. And so what I'm saying is that <clears throat> this person roosted up in my fucking head. You know, I'm toxic because the whole process, what it did was made me made me uh, toxic by implying things to me about the nature of our relationship and con confusing me, making me believe it was aliens, gets me down there, navigates me through this fucking obstacle course till I find out, oh, you're a sex trafficking being Holy shit. Because the whole me all the messages coming in was about that. I didn't even know what it was. But I've been communicating with this thing for a couple of years. It's generally pretty abusive, and, and just fucks with me constantly. And then I find out it's actually her. It doesn't surprise me that that's what she gets up to. <laughs> Honestly, it's not funny. Because because the point is, is like, I'm 39 fucking years old. I'm, I'm like halfway through 39. This person just barely turned 25 years old. Her whole mentality on all of it isn't even close to what mine is. You know what I mean? 
And this isn't the first time this shit has happened to me with women before in similar situations where there was unwanted advances from mysterious places. This happened to me with with an actress. And I believe and I believed that she had pretended some stuff just to get me thinking that she was interested and then wound up wound up a situation where as soon as I exposed it, all this stuff came out about Harvey Weinstein. And so I think that we had that, the government had already tried to kill me so many times. So I'm thinking, in case you didn't know, I'm actually Jesus, I'm actually Jesus Christ. And there's a lot of shit about that. But the government had just finished trying to kill me so many fucking times. And, and then I was like able to communicate with these women <clears throat> Telepathic. She was the first one. The second one was my ex-girlfriend who had come underneath a lot of craziness with the Acacia strain, to stalking her, talk, you know, confronting me for her being so attractive, all this kind of weird shit. And I think what happens is that it it's so misunderstood as to what the source of it is. <clears throat> 